Hello everybody! Welcome to Sen Inc. My name is Ollie and welcome to this speed paint video. Um, today I am doing a speed draw redesign of Twilight Sparkle from My Little Pony. Friendship is magic. I decided to do this because I've wanted to follow on that bandwagon for years now and just never really believed in my capabilities of figuring it out. Um, and I didn't exactly like using faces to design it, so I'm drawing it myself to design them, and then I will make a show pony style after. Um, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> look at the kabiki. Um, so, <laughs> I was originally trying to figure out a topic to talk about when I was on the mindset of being like, okay, time to show off the speed paint of my Cringetober prompt list. Because, I mean, there's only so much I could talk about with that one. And I know there should I should be able to talk about other things. Because you guys really seem to like it when I just talk about, like, my struggles or things in life. But the thing is, I don't want to bring up too much controversial crap where I would get a bunch of hate, and that hate would spread to other commenters who would feel the negative pull. Um, then again, I'd probably just delete their comments so they don't affect anybody else, but still. <laughs> uh, I have always been a fan of My Little Pony. Um, I, I, uh, I am definitely a brony, I will say that. Um, it's just a the world building in the original and everything and discord and um everything about that i love so much and i don't hate twilight sparkle at all i actually don't really hate any of the characters um twilight sparkle uh i wouldn't change or rewrite her personality very much um if anything i probably would have her um get her wings a little bit later, like, and more of an important thing rather than just finishing a spell, because that just seemed a little anticlimactic. But I don't hate the idea that she became a princess either. Um, I think it is actually a great success for a star pupil um, to exceed to royal stature. Especially since uh, Princess Celestia plans to retire eventually, and I hear a lot of hate about um, Twilight becoming all magical alicorn thing. It's like, didn't she? She was already an adult. Why is this happening? Or or bacon hair? Personally, I love the bacon hair. Um, no, actually, this is this is how I would put it for that style. If I ever decide to design that style, anyway, um, I feel like. Once someone becomes an alicorn, with all that alicorn magic they gain, they also gain a longer lifespan. Um, and therefore, they exceed to ethereal stature rather than just older pony. Um, very different things, and I think it does make sense. Um, I don't hate it. I actually liked it. Uh, she she still looked pretty young, uh, which I don't hate either because, um, I mean, the time that she should look very, very ethereal and old is probably when her friends are dead. Anyway, <laughs> um, but ultimately she is immortal now. That's kind of the whole premise of her becoming the ruler of Equestria. Otherwise, she'd have to find a successor, or or if she didn't, then Celestia and Luna would have to come back, but I don't know, or whatnot. We don't- we didn't see them in the last final episode at all. I wonder why we didn't get to see them in their retirement to see if they've changed at all. It's disappointing, really. I hear a lot of controversies about My Little Pony, and I just sometimes just don't understand it. Like, why are people upset about the, uh, the every creature thing later on? I mean, like, I, I'm not talking about the saying, I'm talking about, like, people getting upset about how there's so many creatures and it's not just ponies anymore. 
I don't hate that at all. I think it was great world building and I adored, I adored it, honestly. Uh, I wish we did get an anthropomorphized cat, though, you know? Um, but we didn't. That's sad. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, um, I guess I'll start talking about the design again. One of the things I gave her was the jellyfish uh, hairstyle. When I saw it for the first time, I immediately thought Twilight Sparkle. I'm going to put this in my design. Um, and I gave her some sparkle uh, stars and stuff. And my in my head canon, um, those she doesn't actually originally have those until she becomes an alicorn to extra add a little extra etherealness rather than just a pair of wings. Um, her horn's a little big, but we won't talk about that. You know, everybody, maybe that's where why she has so much extra magical energy. <laughs> Anyway, I'll talk more, uh, let me know, uh, I'll talk more about more of the community and the ponies and stuff. Uh, let me know which pony I should redesign next, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye!